Hello friends. Today is a Sunday. It is 4.30. It is the first day of Venus retrograde. Um, I am getting ready to record a podcast, my last podcast of the year. I'm going to take a little break um, for the holidays from podcast recording. So for this week's episode, I'm going to do a guided meditation. I'm very excited about it. Um, that's something I definitely want to get into more is leading meditations because it's so life changing. <laughs> um, but I woke up and it was like 20 something degrees today. So Scott and I didn't get to do any of the things we had planned because they were all outdoor things. <sighs> so I was super bummed. <laughs> we did go on a little lunch date because like I said, in yesterday's vlog, he was on 12s all week, so we didn't even eat at the same time all week. We didn't barely saw each other. We, he works uh, an hour away, so he's only home and awake for two hours a day when he works 12s. Anyway, <laughs> so we didn't get to do anything this morning. I did get lashes put on. I'm wearing a wig, feeling more myself today, so that's very good. So I'm going to get this podcast recorded and edited. Um, and then I have my card pull tonight with my Patreon community and I still have work to get done for end of year and prepping for next year. So working on all of that and getting it all to come together before, uh, dogs come tomorrow. So that is what we're doing. <laughs> this guided meditation podcast may be the greatest idea I've ever had. <laughs> I just wrote the script for it, found the music. It's so good. I'm getting ready to record it now. This is going to be my last episode. Okay. Rivers is going to join me. This is going to be my last episode of the year. Last episode of the season. Episode 10. Um, it's the Empowerment Circle Podcast. It's available on Apple, Spotify, and Google Podcasts. And I'm so excited. So let's record. <music> a little heart to heart i just recorded the podcast i feel like this is a voice cutting off my head i just recorded the podcast and it was so good so i recorded it edited it and then i did the meditation myself and i just started tearing up like it's so letting go of things is so powerful but it also can be so scary because when you let go of things then you have to change you have to evolve you have to step up you have to do the work whatever it is and so we stay in these places and we stay small because it feels safe and it feels safer than doing the work stepping up changing um and so that is why part of that's a huge part of why i have decided to offer coaching in 2022 um, empowerment coaching because I feel like letting go of things is hard like I said but it also is scary and sometimes you need someone to walk through it with you or someone to help guide you along through it so that is where I come in um, I have done a lot of work on myself over the last four years ago I started therapy but I feel like this last year I really just invested in myself and invested in programs and I got coaches of my own and did courses and all these things and I feel like I'm a completely different person now than I even was in 2020. In 2020 we all were kind of in survival mode right we were just trying to make it day by day and quarantine and getting you know praying for a vaccine to come and all the things and then in 2021 we really got to like breathe again and come out of that fight or flight mode and so that brought up a lot and I'm guessing that a lot of us changed overall in 2021 as a result of being in kind of that panic fight or flight for so long in 2020 that survival mode so all of this to say you can book coaching with me on my website 
it's www.jessicarosecornish.com. I will link it in the description below. I also offer, like I said in my Oracle cards, the one-on-one -on -one card readings. And then I have an option for a card reading with coaching, where we just kind of dive more into the cards and more into what specifically is going on in your life um, at the current time. So coaching is available in one-off sessions or you can do a monthly bundle. And yeah, it's just something I'm really power something I'm really passionate about is just empowering women. Like I always say in my podcast every week, I want to women to believe in themselves wholly and love themselves fully. And I think when you can do the work of loving yourself as the first step, everything else falls into place because you start to realize that you're not just gonna accept things as they were anymore and things will start to change. That's how it was with me so <laughs> thank you guys for being here and uh, if you want to listen to the podcast I already talked about that so I guess <laughs> I guess I'm done now <laughs> so yes lots of let's let go of the past and call in something better so let's do a tarot as the rest of these cards go <clears throat> you know find your people get rid of the people who aren't your people <laughs> get rid of the old take now's such a good time to take on the new surround yourself with a new community interesting it's a good message for the end of the year Relationships in my life are the perfect mirror for me to look more closely at my own behavior. Wow. Bring it full circle. Yay. Okay, so this was our card pull for the week in the empowerment community. Like I said, I pull a card from each of my oracle type decks and then I pull from my tarot deck. This week we did a self care and a spirit junkie. And it was really cool because the message of the last card I pulled, the Spirit Junkie, tied it right back to the message of the first card. And it was just a really good overall message for the end of the year and Christmas time. Alright, it's 8.36. So today's vlog's gonna go up late, but it's going up. So this is probably gonna be a short but sweet little vlog. And tomorrow, it's supposed to be warmer and we have dog coming 8 a.m. So... Let's do this Christmas week. I hope you guys have a really good start to your Monday.